Hi guys, welcome back and today I want to film a video and talk to you about how to organize your bag. Um, and I'm going also to do a purse changeover while I'm in this setup. So this is the bag I am currently using and that is going to be the bag that I will be using for this week. Um, this morning I have been very very busy going through my bags and basically trying to reorganize everything and yeah trying to organize 167 bags i do have a lot and i'm not bragging about it i'm just saying that i'm trying to declutter the things that i am not using and this was a very good opportunity this is what i'm going to do i'm going to give a bunch of bags to family members and i will also be donating um, to charity shops because that is a good opportunity to do something good um, for someone else. Actually, I am an animal lover. I love, love dogs and donating my bags to charity shops, to animal charity shops. Um, it gives me the opportunity to do something because I myself had two dogs. They died a bunch of years ago to me personally to me it's like I have lost kids um, I know that maybe someone could get offended by this but the love I felt for those two dogs it's just like having kids and I never managed to get other ones and I basically um, like this I'm just doing something good for someone else in this case those dogs and cats that are strays and that they basically just need help through the charity shops and through the money collected from the charity shops. So, long introduction, it has nothing to do with animals this video, but um, I just wanted to share with you what I've been doing this morning. Um, I have reorganized everything and now I was going to change my bag for the week. Um, many times I do uh, change my bag for each and every week. And I wanted to go through how I organize my bag and what I do um, because there are so, so many um, different options out there. This is a huge bag. This is what I was using. But um, as you can see, I have a huge amount of things in my bag and everything is basically in pockets. So I have been watching many and various YouTube videos of what's in my bag. Um, and many of the YouTubers just say that their bag is uh, one big hole of clutter and God knows what, and they just do the purse cleanup. But to me personally, it would be a huge source of anxiety if I just leave my purse in those shambles and I wouldn't be able to function with, the, with it like that. So I decided to go through um, a way on how to keep organized my purse. So first of all, you have two options. You can either get uh, one of those purse organizers and here I'm gonna show you mine, which is I've got one in pink and one in black and I got both of them from eBay. Um, there are various colors. They are very good in quality and cheap in price. They have different types of compartments. Um, as you can see here, the smash compartment has two in, on this side and another four on this other side. Another two compartments on this side and another two compartments over there. Then one big one on the side which closes with a zip and another zip compartment like that too and then it has the main compartment in the middle and two handles so that you can take it out with all the contents of it and just put it into another bag um, I had two I have used them for quite a long time but they don't fit me any longer and I'm not gonna go into buying those expensive uh, brand named uh, purse organizers by the way, I love them. I wish I had one. I wish I purchased them and because they also serve as a good base for, for a bag. But I just decided to start using what I have. And what I have are huge 
uh, amount of makeup bags and this is what I've done so basically I have taken out my stationary pockets and my makeup bags I have a lot and I have decided just to put uh, what I can uh, obviously in my bag and the contents into them and that's what I've done so I'm gonna go and uh, show you what I've got in there first of all this is my mobile phone pocket and you have seen this in a lot of what's in my bag videos it is a two zip pocket i will include the link down below to these types of pockets they have two zips uh, here on the upper part and another zip here and here i keep my uh, internet key my phone my cords my battery charger and various things then i've got these are the only Two things which are not included in a pocket this is my prescription glasses and this is my sunglasses in their uh, respective pockets then I've got one thing which is loose and this is my Hello Kitty mirror and it was in this compartment here because whenever I need the mirror I will just get it out so this was the only thing that it couldn't fit or stay in any of the pockets I have then I have, let me get this out. This is my Filofax Domino A5 in pink. Um, yeah, it's huge. You see there, there are so many things. I'm working on so many projects at the moment that I need my brain dump notebooks, my shopping lists, etc. So I do have, this is huge and the the one thing which is the most heavy in my bag but at the moment I can't go without it because as I said I'm working on so many projects and I can't stay without any of the contents of this file effects it's beautiful I have it I had it I have purchased it three years ago I think and it's in perfect wonderful quality apart from the from my uh fingerprints and a bit of dirt I think from my bag but once cleaned up it is basically wonderful so yeah I would highly recommend this patent pink it's beautiful so the other thing is this pocket that I've got from New Look and you are used to see in my last what's in my bag videos yeah the one like this another one like this pocket which i've got also from new look and even this one is from new look but it was in rose gold this is the essentials walking pharmacy and it holds the same things that uh, i had in all the other ones in all the other what's in my bag videos and there is also a video about this um, I just changed the pocket and moved to this floral one, colored one, pinkish one. It's beautiful. I think I purchased this two years ago from New Look and it's still uh, wonderful. By the way, if this does not fit in the bag, it's the bag which is going to change, not the contents of this essential pouch. Because without this, I wouldn't feel confident, not even a little because this is so important to me. Here there is everything. Now, going to the last three pockets that there are there, this is my medicines pouch because I have allergies, um, sinus, back pain, migraine, headache. Ugh, don't wanna start on that. And I have to keep my medicines with me, my sprays with me, my allergy sprays, etc. So I have all the medicines um in this pocket here so i know i can recognize it i know that this is my medicines pocket then i've got this pouch it's so cute with the eyelashes and the ears and at the end of the zip it has this black pom-pom i've got this from ebay and it was in pink or in black obviously i got the pink one because i love it and in here, I've got the things that usually are going around in my purse, being my intimate wipes, my Ziploc bags, which I have, and I keep them just in case. 
my tissues, my other Hello Kitty tissues, my fabric foldable bag, which I've got from eBay, and my hairbrush, which is foldable, and my cards pouch. There are a bunch of cards in there. It's actually full. And I've got my wet wipes in here. Okay, so that's the wet wipes. I use the Hankies Wet Hankies Clean Refresh and Refresh Antibacterials. And I can't go out without those. So that's what I've got in this in this pouch. I love it. It's so so nice and so good to feel because it's like I don't know it's like felt something like that it's nice it's a very good quality and I got it from eBay so you can you can uh, search for it but I will also uh, try to include the link down below to this uh, pouch the last pouch that I have in my bag and as you can see there it's completely empty it's a two zip purple bag and here when you open it up I have in the first compartment all my on-the-go stationery it's not much but it's what I usually want to have with me my sharpies when I am on the go so that's my stationary compartment over there. Oh, a pen just fell out. And this is my makeup, my pen drives, my perfumes, other wet wipes, etc. So I have everything in here, which is not included into other pouches. It's in here. So my makeup is here. And that's it. That's what I've got. I will be picking up that pen. Don't worry about that. It's from Technique Girl Viquel. Vequil new equipment since 1949 so that's what I, ha I have this in pink and in purple so let me just get this out of the way and put it somewhere else picking the pen and picking the bag so this is there let me put the pen in the bag again in the pocket Okay, so I'm gonna do the purse uh, change over and let me show you better how I am going to organize this bag. By the way, this bag, I got it from eBay and I will uh, be including the link down below also to this, uh, to this bag just in case. I got it in gray and in pink, but there is also, uh, I think there are different styles and colors to this bag. Um, they call it weekender or overnight stay bag, something like that. For me, it's a daily bag because I have to carry a lot with me. So the first thing that gets in there is my planner and then my essentials pouch, which stays there. And on the side of the essential pouch, I'm going to put my prescription glasses and my sunglasses and they are going to be held together like that then if I go on the other side I'm going to put my eyelash pouch or ear pouch whatever on that side I'm going to put my medicines there and my purple I'm going to remove them because they are not going to stay. Let me rearrange them better. So that's that and that's that. So like this, I've got everything in place. And I'm going to put my mirror on the side. You see how it stays everything? So I've got my planner here my medicines uh, pouch over there, my essential pouch, my sunglasses and prescription glasses, my makeup and stationery pouch there, and my tissues, wet wipes, etc. Um, 
pouch over there. And that's that. That's what I've done. That's my purse changeover. As you can see, everything is well organized and I know where everything is. And I can just, whenever I need something, grab the pouch that I need, maybe go to the restrooms or another place with the things that I need from the bag, if I just in case don't want to take all the bag with me. And no one will ever know what's in there. No one will ever notice what I've got in each pouch because they are very discreet. They are nice, um, good looking pouches, etc. So I have everything in there. And yeah, so that's it. That's what I've got for my purse changeover. I hope that you have liked this video. And as I said, I will try to link down below all the things that I have shown you wherever these have uh, a link. And as I said, you can either go with the purse organization by using pouches that you have or else uh, you can go for one of those purse organizers out there, which there are a lot of brands. Um, there are the cheap ones from eBay. There is, I think, the Samorga ones. Um, and I can't remember other brands, but I'm sure that if you go on Google and just search uh, purse organizers or bag organizers, you will find a ton of brands and products. So I hope once again, um, I have managed to give you some ideas on how to organize your bag and that you have liked this video. And until next time, bye.